Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me here. First, I just want to ask you a quick question. Who wants to live an abundant life? Yes, yes? Fantastic. All right. Now, my name is James Linsua, aka I am JDS, okay? I am an author, I'm a speaker, I'm a coach, which I'm a transformational coach and trainer, okay? Now, when I talk about being an author, I'm an author of four books. Now, just a little thing. I just, what I want to quickly do is, actually, let's do this one first. Can I do an exercise with you? Would you want to do a quick, quick exercise? Yeah. Everyone stand up with me. Uh, <laughs> I am. I am. Tell me. I need you all to say it with me all in one go, okay? I am. 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 I am the father of my life. I choose my future. I am abundant. I live and breathe abundance. I am no longer self scarcity or lack. I am really to fully embrace the abundance in my personal and professional life. Give yourself a round of applause. I want to thank you for your attention to the end of why I said you are amazing. Did that feel good? Fantastic, fantastic. Now, can I get a big deal with you? Is that okay? Can I share a bit about my story? Is that okay? Let me ask a good question. Whose earliest memories are good memories? Anyone here? Have early memories that are good memories? The earliest memories. So the earliest memories that you can that you have, they are good memories. Yes. Put your hand up at the good memories, the earliest memories. Well, about half, okay? Well, let me tell you a bit of a story. Imagine being one years old, and you're on your bed alone by yourself at night, and you hear footsteps come up the, up the stairs into your room, and there's no one else in the house but you. And then you see a face under the bed looking down, and it was a, poli it was a policeman. Because there was no one else, else in the house, and I was only one years old. Imagine being four years old, and I mean now, I'm now in the place which you call foster home for about a year. And then you get to about six or seven years old, and I have been sexually abused by one of my family members. And then imagine before I'm even 10 years old, I get stabbed by one of my own parents. I'm not on the street in a gang, I get stabbed by one of my own parents. And that's before I even went 10. And this is just a few highlights. I know what it's like to be punished with your hands on the hot water to boils. All before I was 10, then I get taken from one parent to the other parent, only to have very similar experiences. No full well what I went through. So I understand you, sister, when it means living in fear every day. Coming home from school, running to the toilet, and I stayed as long as possible because I knew there would be something waiting for me. And this is me as a black young man. Only to grow up and make a lot of bad decisions myself because I didn't love myself, I didn't understand myself, I didn't worry, didn't think myself was worthy. I married someone that didn't love me. Now, I found out I've got two beautiful children, amen? Amen. Right. So when I'm talking about abundance, I'm not talking from a place of arrogance. I'm talking from a place of what it means to live with lack. You know, if everyone was to start from zero, I start from minus 100. Mm. And in my journey, I had to get to zero and then now start my ascension. Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay? And that's the reality, I know a lot of people in this world have suffered. And one of the problems I have is when we talk about, oh yes, we should do with this and let things go and not be funny, you can forgive, but your mind and body do not forget. That's right. 
Does this make sense? Yes. So it's not easy for me to see the comma to use eight. This is what we should do to live in the bond and life. There are things that they need to be addressed. And I'm going to challenge you is to look inward. And what I'm going to share with you, this is, this is far too much to explain in 20 minutes. But I'm going to give you just a couple of things. Is that okay? Yes. So here's what it is. Transformation. Tell me, what is it? What is transformation? Change. Change. Okay, anything else? To evolve. To, to evolve. Anything else? To reinvent yourself. To reinvent yourself. Okay. Yes. Tell me what do you think? Yes. Ah. Someone said it's Sunday. Anything yes. else? What do you see in this picture? What, does, what story does it tell? Broken era. Ah. Broken. But it, Okay, so you say broken down. Set the phones. Set the phones, okay. Yes, my boy. Going from your lower self to your higher self. Thank you very much. Anyone else? So notice you start as the rough into the swamp, to the bird, and to the plane. Transformation is not just a change, it's a complete start to change. So let's quickly go to this. It's a marked change to form or nature. You know, somebody named the caterpillar? Yes. Yeah. I'm, for, I'm on the firm belief that a caterpillar knows one day it's going to be a butterfly, right? So right. it's crawling along in the nature, eating the leaves and stuff, and eventually it goes into its cocoon. Now we know the process is called metamorphosis, which comes from transform, transform, transforming and transformation. And then eventually, once it breaks out of its cocoon, and nobody was a proper word for this, so forgive me, I've forgotten it. But once it comes out, what is it? Sorry, sorry. Thank you very much, this is right. When it comes out of um, this business, right, it then becomes a what? Yeah. Butterfly. Now we all love butterflies, don't we? It's going to be the colourful. And that is what I learned to help you with just a couple of principles that can help you that when people see you, they see the butterfly in you. Mm. Does that sound really good? Yeah. I want you to turn to anyone on your left or right or behind you and say, you are an amazing butterfly. You are an amazing butterfly. Fantastic. Now, it isn't just me marked change. There's something I want to point you to. An internal shift. See, transformation, now I love the film Transformers, they actually change into a car and those things. Now this is an internal shift. It means we have to do the internal work. Yep, yeah? follow me? Watch this. That brings us in alignment. What is this phrase? Hi. You see, a lot of people now talk about changing this, changing that, changing if you leaves on your tree. You imagine your tree. No, no, we need to change the root so that you have a marked change that is so significant that it points in one direction to your highest potential. And if whatever change you have made, if it's not reaching your highest potential, that's not transformation for you. Does this make sense? Yes. Because, oh, I'm changing the change, I'm doing yeah, but is it helping you to achieve your highest potential? I used to be a music producer, but I never really spoke. Obviously, I'm behind in making instruments, I wrote a few songs here and there. But that didn't help me to reach my highest potential. So God moved me from music, which is my passion. I do believe passion and purpose are two different things. Because of all the traumas, I turned to music. But it didn't allow me to use my voice. Sorry, it didn't allow it to use my voice in a way that you can now see my experience and I can help to empower and inspire people. Does this make sense? So when I'm talking about your highest potential, it means what was your purpose? What is your purpose? What are you born? Why are you here? Not 2,000 years ago, but why are you here today? Does this make sense? Because there's a reason why we're here in this very moment. There's a reason why we're all here and it's all part of the journey to how to achieve your... Highest potential, thank you. Is this what makes you sense? Now, so there's a few couple, couple of things. Now watch this. In order for you to have, what's that phrase? Real, real, change. real change. We need to have what? True awareness. True awareness of what? Who? Of ourselves. Do you know, how do you guess what age? I'm 37 years old today. How do you guess what age I to begin to know who I am? Just for to make you know. 35. Great if I was late on that. That's just two years ago, but I appreciate it. Anyone else? 22. 
22, okay. Aunt is close, 30 years old. And I lived straight, three decades on life, and I didn't really know who it was. I'm talking about, I've been in, I've been in crazy situations, my homes, I've been in different places, I've been in houses, not homes, I've been in churches, I've been in all sorts. And the kinds of points, I remember saying, I actually left church and it's like, God, be with you, are, so full, you know, I'm going to hate you for this continues. Because in my life, why are you so good? Why is my life so bad? You lost that way. So I have to bring everyone out of the way and I want to get to know this whole thing about myself. And that's where my journey began when I was about 30. 2017. Does this make sense? Yes. So the question is, who are you? Do you know who you are? Of course, you're a woman, you're royalty, you're a queen, fantastic, you're a princess. But even deeper than that, who are you at your core? Not what your family says, not what your friends, because everyone wants to put titles and so forth on you. But the question is, who do you say you are? Does this make sense? And then when we know who you are, the second question then becomes, where are you? Because you need to understand. Now, who remembers the film One Away Bright? Now, one of my favorite scenes is where he got his eggs, right? Uh -huh. She's like, fried eggs, flying white eggs, boiled eggs, scrambled eggs. And she's like, well, that was from that boyfriend, that was from that boyfriend. She didn't know who she was, but she wanted to find and discover what she really likes for herself. Does that make sense? Yes. All right? And that's what you have to do in life, to really say, what do I really like? Because often we jump on YouTube or different things, and people say, this is the best diet. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to jump on that diet, but it doesn't work for me and my body. In fact, I don't really like this process. So in life, we need to learn to know who we are. I'm a father. I am a black man. I'm in this situation where I'm in a different world. I have gone through these things. I have traumas. But I've also, we also have greatness within me. But you are women. I'm not a woman. But I have a daughter. I have a mother. I have a sister. And my whole desire is to speak life into you that no matter what we've been through, no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, you can live an abundant life. And when I say abundant life, I don't just mean financially. I mean physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, yes, relationally and socially. A whole complete transformation of your life. That's why I said transformation is not just one little thing. It's a complete stop change where you're no longer recognizable. Of course, on the outward we are, but on the inward you're a whole complete different person. Does this make sense? This is what true transformation is. And once we know who we are and where we are, then we can now set sights on where we're going to achieve our highest potential. Make sense? Is that in problem with me? Brilliant. Right, so watch this. So of course you start down here, and of course as you learn and grow in with here, and I'm learning from everybody. I may not agree, we may not always agree with each other, but there's still something to learn from something. It's not all about being in a bubble, where everyone thinks about coming to these places. People come from America, come from Lithuania, come from the UK, come from Spain, come from Canada, some, so many different places, but so many varieties. We learn from each other, we learn from others. <laughs> And all of that helps us for a reason, but I don't believe in coincidence. I believe in consequence or divine providence, and we go up and up and up until eventually we achieve who we are. Now, there's a lot of things here, not at all for you, but I want you to write this down. There are five life principles. How did I say? Yeah. Five. These life principles literally helped me to go from where I am now. There's a time where I was so broken and only darkness. I remember having dreams of only being falling down a black hole. So when I was listening to you, I was thinking to myself, I do wonder if I had a PST, PTSD for a whole long time and didn't know it. But I believe my relationship with God now, I know everyone doesn't have a relationship with God, etc. I'm not here to preach and so forth, but my relationship with God and divine creation to know that I'm here for a purpose, that helps me to lift me from where I was to where I am today. Does this make sense? So I just want to share you five principles. Yeah, are you ready? Five wonderful principles. Principle number one is you are what you think. And it's not enough to say think, 
is do you believe what you think about yourself? Does this make sense? Oh, I think I'm a great person. I tell myself I'm a great person. But when you go to sleep, do you truly believe you're a great person? Does this make sense? You know what I mean? Now, when you go to faith without words, and dead, when I talk about words, I'm talking about actions. If you truly believe that you are special, if you truly believe that you're here for a purpose, if you truly believe that you are made to do something great that only you can do because nobody's like you. You can have a twin, you can have a triplet, but you still got separate DNA. And if you truly believe it, then you will act on it, no matter what anyone else says or thinks. Make sense? Then number three is your vision and dream. Where there is no vision, the people what? Perish, we know that. Why? Because there's two things you can do. Either we can be destructive or productive. Now, we know that we go to work and on Monday morning blues, everyone gets to Friday, that happy Friday. I and mean, then what happens? Most of us fall into it. The bar to get a drink and we want to wash the week away because we're sold down in the test. Does that make sense? Are you following in? Right. And what happens is, is because they don't have nothing to aspire to beyond the work that they're doing, which is not fulfilling. So therefore, all they can do is be destructive and hopefully they can escape the situation that they're feeling. Does this make sense? But if you truly believe that this is only just a, a pit stop to help me to reach where I'm going, then you can choose to be After one destructive is formed, I have also worked and missed miss, apologies. So you can choose rather than being destructive, you can be productive. Make sense? So number four is using your gift. So can I give you a little secret? Right, watch this. If you don't truly know what your purpose is, now I know we're not just entrepreneurs, and I've been, I've been trying to do this thing before. I've done that because I had a music company called Queen, then I thought this is my thing. But I realized it was my passion, but I've realized something. Whatever your gift is, it is perfectly fit for you to achieve the purpose that is assigned to you. Does this make sense? So your gift and your purpose will have synergy. And the reason why every door was closing when I was trying to do my music company because that wasn't meant for me. Does it make sense? It doesn't matter how much money I spent. It doesn't matter how much things I did. It did not work. Why? Because it was not for me. But my gift of speaking when I couldn't really speak until at least seven, eight years old. Never read a book in my life until I met the Bible in my twenties. But now I've read four books in the space of eight months. Does this make sense? Now number four, five, the appointed time. Often, yeah, I've been there, you look and I've come off, uh, I came off LinkedIn, I've not been on there that much. There is a lot of time, I've seen other people, and I'm like, why is my life taking so long? But a lot of people haven't been to what I've been to. So what happens, we're often turning our attention to other people. Now, congratulate them, but turn the attention to yourself and be thankful that you've made it another day. That you're better than it was before. And here's the great thing I'm going to teach you to accept is that God never prepares you for the blessing for you. He prepares you for the blessing. And the truth be told is that the longer the wait is because the great that's in you needs a little bit more time. But when you are fully unfolded, you become far greater than anyone else. And this is the thing where if you follow these principles in life and focus on yourself and the relationship, whether you believe in God or not, I believe the divine help of it, those are those, that's fine. That is the foundation of the principles to live life. It says, make your sense. Now, let me give you one thing. Now, I'm on to death where I did not steal your slides when I see you, you say them many. Well, watch this. Hey, that, this way, that. We're actually speaking this morning. I think that I'm going to hold the phone on my name. I didn't want to say, I promise you, I did not steal your slides. <laughs> So I'm sorry, my family, I'm right, I feel like I need to live you, that's the same thing, We all have, yes, we all have hours. But I'm going to give you a slight different idea. Is that okay? <laughs> we all have one superpower. That is the foundation of all our powers. Does anyone know what that is? Yes. Huh? Authenticity, yes. Huh? Authenticity. Authenticity, you said that's your power, anything else? Anyone else? I tell you, your true power, your ultimate 
superpower. It doesn't matter whether you're a baker, it doesn't matter whether you're an entrepreneur or in the business world. It makes no difference of race, color, gender, free. It makes no difference. You have one superpower. Are you ready? Wow. Oh, why do I have to fold this look at me? Why? The power of what? <laughs> Ladies, do you have a challenging job in life for many, many different reasons, especially in the business world? But you have the power to decide no matter what and where you are. If you don't like your job, you have the power to leave and change it and then miss the value you brought. Or you have the power to what I know have you done to create your own business. Or if you're in the wrong business, like I didn't lost 20,000 pounds, I still move you to another decision. Wow, well, so I'm saying that my job, does this make sense? You have the power to decide for you. For you. Never forget it. Yeah, the way to give is fantastic. But understand that your superpower is your ability to decide. <laughs> you don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> So, I don't put me there for what you say, I mean, I but for you, I'm coming in a second. I'll feed all your choice. This is your true superpower. And any incident that happens, your power lies in your ability to decide how you will respond. Will I respond in the negative and beach to their love? Or would I say, you know what, I'm going to show them why they're not listening? Whether that's in a relationship, or whether that's with my boss, or even a friendship. You have the power to decide what you want for you. So my last thing, obviously you are not going to hope for this. You have the power to decide what you will be. No one else can carry me. Only you and God have that divine assignment to know what you will be. Because anyone could tell you, yeah, I'm people sure you all know. When you are about to look for your dreams, everyone else who found in friends seem to know what your dreams are for you. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> so what I'll say is my last mission, my last thing is please do me one thing. Can you do me one favor? Mm. To you. Oh.